Scorpio, how you doing? So <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking, right, how, what, what have I got for channel messages for Scorpio before we start doing your reading? And I was tapping and I was hearing this dun, 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 and it was Queen and it was the devil as a sight for me, for me, for me. Boom, 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 boom. But it was like boom, boom. So I'm kind of thinking, okay, so someone has the devil in them. <clears throat> Maybe something to do with around Devi, Dan, Danielle, uh, Dragon, that person. Uh, but like someone has a devil for the sight for me. Okay, so someone has it out for you, okay, is probably watching you, or it could be this gang stalking, or like just watching someone constantly, like watching, waiting on every word that they say, I mean, trust me, I'm a tarot card reader, so a lot of people are going to be watching me, right, but I've got this feeling in in this reading itself, I'm sorry, because I have Scorpio on my chart, right, y'all know, any of you got three placements of Scorpio, let me know in the comment section, right, but uh, the devil has a sight for me. Right, so it's kind of like I'm looking at you with devious eyes, like I'm kind of like, like getting wound up by something that's being said, or these could be haters or something like that, or Denise, Dan, Danielle, Danny Glover, Life by Life. No, if I'm reading out your name, it doesn't mean you, but like I have the devil for a sight, and I'm looking at you like with crunched up eyes and kind of like this, like what, like I'm, what am I hearing? What am I listening to? Okay, so that's all I can kind of hear. Is, is that someone has the devil for the sight for them. Okay, so it's kind of like I'm sick of the sight of you, pretty much, maybe. I don't know. So if you're kind of like in a circumstance that you kind of like these messages are relating for you and it's kind of like someone has it in for me, okay, or they're watching and you don't know and it's kind of like the devil being in your head and you're kind of like, mm, or the name Ed or Edwina or Eddie or Edmonds or Berry, Holly or Jody. But, like, I have the devil for the sight for you, and I keep watching and I keep looking, okay? Because I can see this, like, very disturbing image, if I'm honest, or spitting image. Like a caricature, maybe, someone that's drawing. Uh, I don't know. Are you scribing or drawing something here? Um, what else have we got for uh, Scorpio? Scott, Scotland, uh, Scottish, Sarah, Steve, Sassy, Sandra, um... Any messages for Scorpio coming through before we get on with their reading? The devil has a sight for me. Has something for me. A gift that you're gifted? Or oh, I have a gift for you? I have something for you. <laughs> it's too late. It's not my birthday. <laughs> but, like, it was my birthday. Thank you anyway by everybody that was giving me birthday wishes. I really appreciate it. Um, but the devil has a sight for me, but I have something for you. A four, another four, a Scorpio, and I have something for you. Mm. I have something for you. I have to tell you something. Thing, a Steve. I have a thing for Steve. Hmm. I have a thing for you, thing. I don't know, what is a thing? Well, Stephen King. Lion, a Leo, or an Aquarian. And I have a thing. I have this thing. What is this thing? It's like a question mark or a mark. Melissa, anybody's got M in their name or E in their name? Okay. But like, I have this thing for you. Mm. Mm. So, you are, so you are being stalked. You are being watched. Someone's paying very close attention, but they're not actually admitting that they're watching. Okay. So if you've got like a crazy ex or a person that's kind of like stalking the shit out of you and you're kind of like, man, I know for a fact that this person's watching me, whether you want them to or not, it's up to you. But what I was hearing for you messages wise was, um, what was it that we started off? Like um, something about being watched or something like that, right? Uh, or an old timer, a watch, or I've got a watch or something like that, or I'm watching the time. What's the time, Mr. Wolf, Silver's Pussy? Or um, a Leo? Okay, something to be running out of time, muse. Um, anyway, but this is like someone watching, okay, feeling like this. That's it, because it was the devil as a sight for me, right? Well, if this be Gemini, it ca uh, Capricorn, it can mean Gemini. It doesn't mean that they are. It just means it's around those star signs, right? 
So it, this is the devil has a sight for me. This is very childish communication or, very, or like a, a kid or a child or even maybe a Stephen. But it can also be clients and children. But it can be like childish communication. And instead of communicating with you, I'm just going to make you feel very uneasy by watching you all of the time, listening to what you're saying and paying close attention to what you're saying. So if that's someone in the background that watches things but don't let themselves know. This isn't where all of you have got to go, Steve, I'm watching your channel. <laughs> Just random people I'm on about someone that you may be dealing with, okay, watches you, okay. Uh, <laughs> let's see, let's see. Does that feel uneasy for any of you here? Um, some of you could be looking for a new person and you're kind of like, I'm kind of curious about someone new, someone that vibes well with me, someone that isn't so, someone that's good at communicating. I mean, I can't text. A lot of you probably know I'm dyslexic. So I hate texting. I hate emails and I hate phones. Okay. So the majority of you, when you reach out for personal readings, you'll realize that all of my personal readings, it's just something that I wrote out on a something on my computer. And I was like, right, all the spellings right there pretty much and I'll just send out every time, right? So me, I'm a communicator, I, I prefer, I don't like text messages, I, I'm sorry, but I just don't like text messages. I think text messages get misconstrued, you don't know how the person's coming across, you can't hear their tone of voice, you don't know if they are angry, if they're frustrated, why they're not actually talking to you. You might get confused and think, why is this person actually not reaching out? Do they have a problem with me? But why are they so focused on me all the time? Okay. So it can be where like, look, I'm, I'm not a texter. I'm not, right? I'm really not. I don't know about you guys, but me, I, I, I believe in an algorithm. Okay, y'all know that, right? So like an algorithm is a spike or it's a dip, like in say YouTube, right? And it either meets positive energy and it goes up and you're like, whoa, this feels great, man, because the, the vibe is flowing. I've met someone, I'm talking to them, the vibe is really good, the conversation is flowing, and I'm connecting with you on an emotional, deeper level of communication, right? When you don't get that, that's just kind of like, boom. And you sit there waiting for messages or you like, or you get confused by what a message means. And you're like, did I read that right? Like, and me, I prefer too confusing for me. I'm just straight like, beep, beep, hello, <laughs> you're right, <laughs> right here. So these can be childish messages that are stopped. It's kind of like, oh, okay, then if you don't want me to message you and I'm interrupting you and you're kind of like, well, no, I just mean like act normal. Like just why can't you just do something, something normal? Okay, you're like, okay, then I'll stop speaking to you. What? No, I didn't say that you... <sighs> right? <laughs> and you get confused by it, and you're kind of like, look, I didn't say don't message me. What I meant is, is just kind of like, I don't know, act normal? <laughs> right? But I am also hearing the new normal as well, or Normington, or Night, or anybody's got N, or New York. Okay, uh, I'm also hearing Erica, or so, or someone from America, that's nearly the majority of you, America. Um, but like Erica or Ericsson, Sony Ericsson, Sony Ericsson. Some of you might have a phone or you might be calling someone from a Sony. Okay. Or you're called Sony or Sonia or so Sonia Alamano, Am Ala, Ala, Ali, Ali. Uh, I know a Sonia Alamano. So someone's got like that kind of name, Alamon, Alamoni. Okay. So some of you might be getting alimony from a like you've got kids with someone and you claim alimony. So I think is alimony when you've been divorced and you have to get money from your husband or something like that, alimony. Okay, but there could be some sort of like, this is like job seekers allowance and I'm looking for a job. Okay, and I'm on alimony at the moment, which might mean insurance has to pay me until I can find a job or I'm a mum and I'm looking after my kids and I need support and I might be struggling financially at the moment because I have a kid to look after. Okay, so whatever alimony means to you, I'm definitely picking that up. Okay, up the alley more, <laughs> up the alley more. So that was... Um, that was a uh, werewolf in London. Some of you, this person or yourself could be from London or around London like me. Okay. Uh, well, Britain, Brian, Beth, Bethy, Bethel. Um, but I'm also hearing like um, American werewolf in London. 
So it could be a Leo in London or a, an Aquarian. I've got Aquarius in my chart. Someone from London or um, something like that. The Moors. The Moors. More. A crab for more, more. Is someone crying for attention here? And I cry for more. I need more. I need more input. I need more information. Johnny Five, John, Julian, Justin, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack. But I'm. I need more information. I'm not got enough information yet. Someone's gathering up like stalls of information on someone. Like I'm just gathering up all of this info on you. Yeah. You know, waiting to approach. But I keep picking up like a tim an, an intimidated Leo. Like, like, uh, let's see, ah, uh, Scorpio, what's going, on? what's going on with me, Scorpio? Please, uh, for the next forty-eight, sabotage. What do you know, Scorpio? Come on, let's have a chat. Automatically, the guards go up. Right, I can see someone sitting there, like nervous, can't speak, just, just. I've just heard something I don't like. Harumph. Like, and they're spying. That's what I said. Don't watch my channel. If you're watching it in the background and I annoy you, I'm not going to lie when it comes to doing my job. I'm truth. <laughs> truth time tarot. Hello. <laughs> but like, <laughs> um, I'll probably give you a shout out actually. Um, but truth be told tarot or truth time tarot. But like um, this energy here of like, I've just heard something, okay? This is like an amber heard, okay? I've just overheard you saying something or I've just seen the fact that you've done something here and I don't like what you're saying and I don't like what... I've had this so many problems around this channel. <laughs> I don't like what you speak about. I don't like that you talk about me. I don't like that you do this. This is what cross-watching does to you. Makes you bonky-eyed and freaked out here. Right, because I'm cross watching and I'm watching a reading that someone is talking about the conflict that is in one's relationship. If you're a tarot reader, sometimes your life comes out on readings. <laughs> but, but like this is like I'm watching, okay, very closely to everything that you say wrong about me and bad about me, because this is a Michael Jackson, okay. But like, or Michael, Melissa, Maria, Michael, Jackson, Julian, Jason, Jessica, any E's or M's. Okay. But like, E's are good. E's are good. Is Ebenezer good? Is E's are good. Is Steve's are good. <laughs> Steve's are good. Steve's are good. Is ever Steve's are good. <laughs> what, your swimmers? What, your David? <laughs> Is David's are good. Is Darren? Darren, Dan, Danielle, that's my brother. Um, Darren, um... Me Darren's are good. You're M-O-T. Oh, okay. So in Britain, obviously, you'll get used to slang, right? I know a person called Darren Mott. Okay, died a long time ago. Okay. Um, and um, sorry about that. Um, he died a long time ago, right? But his name's Darren Mott. Okay. So in Britain, we have an M-O-T. So slang, we go, what are you up to? I've got to go and get me Darren, bruv. <laughs> right? Darren? Yeah, Mott. M-O-T. So something about your car. I've got to have my MOT done. March 16th is when I've got to go and take my car in for a service. That means in Britain, if you don't know what an MOT is, it means is it roadworthy for one whole year? Costs you like 30 to 40 pounds to have an MOT. If it's broken and they're like, okay, you need an oil change, you need a new filter, your tire treads low, blah, blah, blah. It's not going to last six months. We need to change it. This is how much it's going to cost. Do you want it doing? I have to because it needs to be roadworthy for a year. Okay, so whatever y'all call that in America, but I'm hearing a Darren Mott, which means an MOT. So you or a devotee or a divorcee. Also, been divorced, had children, maybe separation, divorced. Um, but then I'm also hearing something to do around maybe your car needs doing, or you're always the one that provides for a car or needs a car or Jimmy. <laughs> it's up to you. You might need a Jimmy. <laughs> Shimmy, shimmy, shimmer, shiver, shiver, shimmer, 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 shim, shim, shiru. <laughs> oh, uh, on the channel, right? Um, oh, I forget what your name is. Very sweet woman. Uh, in the very controlling, uh, married type sort of person, right? 
Um, but I'm also hearing Jim Jim Chiru, which would mean Dick Van or Dyke. Someone's in a same sex relationship. Someone's looking for a dick, maybe. But I'm um, also hearing Mary or Melissa Maria Michael, any M's. Okay. But that's London. That's from London. That's like Mary Poppins. Oh, hello, Mary. Oh, one lump or two. Oh, look what I've got in my handbag. <laughs> right. Handbags and gland rags. Kelly, Keely, Kaylee, Casey, Cassandra, Casino. Some of you might be gambling a lot of money, Jono. Um, let's see. Um, Scorpio for the next 48 hours, please. So if you didn't know, majority of my readings relate to tarot reader, uh, uh, channeled stuff mainly, okay? But a new person, someone's really intrigued. It's kind of like, well, do I want to stay or do I want to talk to this one? Because I talk to this one and it's nothing but fucking conflict, bro. It's nothing but mind games, manipulation, childish communication. Okay, then I'll stop speaking to you. I didn't say just like, well, okay, then I'll just think about you but not speak to you. And you're like... Are you talking to anyone at the moment? You're like, well, I kind of am, but it really isn't going very far because it just keeps, it keeps fucking arguing all the time. Me, right? God's honest truth, man. I don't know about you. I don't know if this is a Scorpio thing or not, or just a general normal fucking person. But I've run from conflict my whole life. Like, even, like, as a child, I never got into a fist fight. When I was at school, I never, like, lumped anybody. If there's a fight in a pub or a boozer, I walk out. I'm the first one to go. I can sense something's going to happen, and I'll just go. I do not like violence, and I do not like when people raise their voice. I just don't like it, okay? I really don't. I went through that as a kid. Where does that come from, Scorpio? Right. So when you're a child and you had a brother like mine, okay, that was always in trouble, drugs, and God knows what else, right? And the family was going fucking crazy. And what would they say? we got a little one there, right? Put your headphones on, Steve. Put your headphones on and listen to Karen Carpenter and the Beatles, right? And then just play with your pots and pans. What could I see? Right, so what was I told to do? Suppress, not listen to arguments, not listen to people bickering and arguing and going on. This is so bad. We need to keep the young one out of this. Suppress them, go upstairs and hear it through the walls. Hear it from people when I was a kid. Your brother's this, your brother's that, your mother, your brother, your this, your that, right? So that's what I had as a child. I'm like, I've got no idea what you guys are talking about. I'm four years old, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Your brother ran up the street naked, running off his head, blah, blah, blah. What? I don't understand that, man. Right? So later on in life, what did I form? I do not like to listen to negative people when they have negative things to say about you. I, I like I don't know what you mean. Like I just don't want to get involved. Like I don't, right? So some people think that arguing it out is the best way of doing it. I don't. Okay, I believe in fucked out. I'm out. <laughs> I'm not going to stand around listening to the complaints that you have about me because you're pulling me down. You're saying that I'm not good enough. You're making me feel like I'm not good enough. Why am I not good enough? Because there's something that you're not doing. So what are you trying to do? Control me for not being me? I thought you're supposed to love me for being me. Mm, right so it makes someone then start to think is this really the right person for me if i'm going through this should i be single and maybe talk to someone else okay i really kind of feel like i want to talk to a friend or i really just feel like i need someone to rely on someone that i can talk to someone that i can trust in also or just in but like i need to i need to know that i can trust somebody okay because this is the Hierophant, okay? This means that whatever relationship is going on, there is trust issues. Trust issues. I don't trust the person, okay? I don't trust their violent behavior. I don't trust how they just suddenly turn from jackal to hide and then go really quiet and say, oh, okay, then if you don't want to talk to me, then I won't talk to you. Meh, 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 meh. Stir crazy, right? There it is, right on the end of your nose. Meh. <laughs> right, right. So, <laughs> can you remember that bit? I used to love that bit. <laughs> oh dear, call me crazy. Crazy over you. That makes me crazy. That makes me crazy. Um, Scorpio, 
Next 48 hours. What's going on with me Scorpios? Oh dear. Sleep deprivation, sleep apnea. <laughs> Fucking sleep apnea, bro. Any of you out there got sleep apnea? Oh, I've got a chair coming Tuesday. I've ordered, I've, I went out and bought myself one for my birthday. A reclining chair. People said, I would love to be able to afford to buy you. A, you don't have to buy me a chair. Okay, well, it'd be nice, but don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, but I bought myself a, 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 a chair. Okay. Um, but me, I'm a fidget. A fidget and I move and I, I get irritable leg syndrome. Any of you heard of that one? When, you, when you're working all day long and then when your energy level drops... Your legs start to shake. Any of you, man, irritable leg syndrome it reminds me of when I was a heroin addict when I was 17 years ago. <laughs> I've been 17 years clean. Way, ghosty. Uh, yeah, stupid when I was a child. But I always thought that it was that. But um, it's also ADD. Also attention deficit disorder. Makes you have leg syndrome but you can't sit still. And then when you want to relax, you're kind of like moving about quite a lot and you're jittery. <laughs> okay. But like, um, yeah, this is kind of like Nine of Swords, finding it very difficult to sleep, okay? Um, sleep disorder, sleep deprivation, it can be exhausted, but it can be sleep apnea, okay? It can be sleep apnea, because this is someone that needs to sit up, okay? And a lot of you have been saying, Steve, have you looked into a, uh, a thing for your bed? I do have that, but I need to be more elevated. I've tried it, right? Have you guys ever tried this, right? When you're up... You can breathe, right? If you start to really lean back and then keep breathing, my tongue goes directly to my back and I'm like, <sighs> it's terrible, like it really is bad. Uh, that stops the oxygen to the brain. If you haven't got oxygen that goes through your bud, br blood, right? What does it form? ADHD, depression, <laughs> okay? So what's the root cause? Well, it isn't ADD for me. It's uh, sleep apnea, no oxygen in the blood. Okay, so that's why I can be quite pale at times because um, I don't have enough oxygen in my blood. Okay. And I don't breathe. Like, I, I'm not a breather. <laughs> Let's see. Or a breeder. No children. No. My dad used to say to me when I was a kid, listen, son, never have children. Get a dog. <laughs> right? But, uh, let's see. <laughs> um... Scorpio, Scorpio, what's going on next 48? Three of Cups, you got like a Piscean energy here, but you got, you're dealing with a very childish person. If you're dealing with one at the moment, this person's probably heard or overheard something that you may have said on your channel, um, that you, <laughs> that one slipped out, that you may have said, okay, they've cross-watched, they've watched something, they may have got really annoyed about it, maybe, Okay, and then they've decided, okay, I'm going to go silent and play the silent game and put you in time out. And then I'm going to say, well, you didn't reach out to me. Right, so they, they their communication is fucking whack right up in here. Like they're not a, they are not a sensible communicator, put it that way. Okay, what, <laughs> what does sensible communication actually feel like, Scorpio? Any of you guys out there know what sensible communication feels like? Well, I do. I know how to be sensible here. Um, the pressures of being a tarot card reader. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's see. Scorpio for the next 48. Told you. Silent witness. Someone's, someone's watching in the background there. <laughs> And not saying that they have, they're lying. This is telling, not telling the truth. This is lying. Okay, lying in court. Lion's Court. That's an old people's residential place. An elderly person. Putchy. <laughs> She's still about there. You are right, Putchy? How y'all getting on? Abandoned anyone lately? <laughs> it's going to make every fucker else laugh. That's going to royally piss her off. There you go. Did you just hear me say that? <laughs> I told you to stop watching. That woman has been watching me for the last seven years. <laughs> Y'all know my uh, Australia experience when I went over there and got kicked out of the car and abandoned in the fucking middle of nowhere. Refused to stop watching my channel. 
and then used to send me emails saying, you'll keep calling out my name. I told you to stop watching my fucking channel if it's annoying you. No. Okay, then don't. But I'm going to call your ass out all day long. Like, I'm believing the truth. Don't watch it. <laughs> like, if it annoys people, man, you don't have to watch. I can't stop you from doing it. But y'all don't have to watch, right? If it annoys you, then stop watching. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> again, like, or Jen, Julian, Justin, just took a judgment. But uh, this is like childish, man. You're better off not with this person. If you're a really good communicator and you love communicating with people, okay, I don't think this is the person for you here. I really don't. I mean, trust me, I concur. Y'all know my shit show of life. Right? Um, but like, you know, it's... um. <laughs> Let's, let's see. Why, why is this five of ones here for Scorpio for the next 48? Judgment. Libra energy. An argument because of what? Things that are online here being watched. This is the difficulty that I go through. You guys probably understand-ish. If you can understand pygmy and like secret messages that I'm kind of not saying, but you can kind of think, oh, I kind of know. All right? <laughs> yeah. Being watched spiritually, what you're saying and what you're doing and keeping a very close eye and cross-watching and watching every reading and fucking stalking you and spying and gang-stalking and watching and not like what I'm listening to. And, you know, I've been forced in my life to to change the messages for everybody else that needs it. Like, I'm a fucking person that helps people, right? So if I'm seeing it in a reading, I'm telling the truth. I'm saying what is in the reading here, right? But I've had multiple people lose their fucking mind at me where they're kind of like, you know my story and you're literally reading it out because I'm watching you. And I'm like, but I'm... <laughs> it's kind of like, what was the other one before? I called out someone's name, right? Uh, I think because, like, you know, we have the Jeff, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack, right? There's probably like 15 Jeffs. There's like 15 Stephs out there, right? All of you, there's loads if you check the comment section, right? And I've had people that are like fucking having a go at me because I'm calling a name out. And I'm kind of like, well, it probably doesn't relate to you just because that's your name. There's fucking many of other people out there that have got the same name. And they, oh man, they shouldn't be watching tarot card readings if you're flipping out at people that do tarot cards. You're, you're not mentally stable in order to be watching it. Like, you know. It you know this is not like this like when I have my channel right it's not meant for children right it, some adults but like it's an eighteen it's eighteen it's set as eighteen because I swear and I do everything else so it's set as an eighteen if you don't have it as eighteen you won't earn any money if it's made for children you can't claim um, adsense you can't get adsense so it has to be eighteen okay so you know if if you. <laughs> Because these could be children that are watching, you know, it's fine, it's up to you. But I think I had someone tell me once before, I can't believe it, you said cock on your channel, and my child was listening. And I'm like, well, what's your child doing listening? <laughs> you know, why, why have you got your kid watching? Page of Swords. I can't make this shit up. Can't make this shit up, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Can we, Dave? It's my, it's my spirit guide. Um, watching tarot card readers. You might be a tarot card reader. You might just be watching it now. But what I'm saying to you is someone here is watching the person's channel. Watching the person's channel, right? Say if you got in a relationship, right? And the person that you got in a relationship with... They know everything about your life, right? You're like, what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a tarot card reader. How are you? Oh, what's your channel? Oh, seven tarot. So your life starts to take effect and blah, 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 right? And you are in a relationship with a person. And suddenly shit goes, it's the fan. It goes completely wrong. But the person still watches your channel when you are you, right? Doing your job, right? They watch. And I know a lot of tarot card readers that can, can also... You know, their life, <laughs> right? It doesn't make them any different just because they're a tarot card reader, okay? Still the same person. I'm still at Steve, right, here. But this is kind of like, you know, I'm watching something that you're saying, 
and I've took an adverse effect against it, and I've been watching what you're saying about me. Okay, so that doesn't mean any, you know, you guys, that, that can mean like, say for instance, if you're a tarot card reader, there are loads out there, okay, they all have lives, okay, but they could be persecuted by a person that watches them very closely, every word that they say. And you could have told this person a thousand times, look, you know, don't, if, you, if it's going to wind you up, don't watch my channel because it probably doesn't mean that. And then the person makes it that this happened because they watch it now when I put this out. Time takes effect because they've literally just watched probably one of the readings I put out or this. Right. Here's me talking, saying stuff. Right. Watching. Okay, getting wound up, not liking what they hear. But when you look at mind control <clears throat> and controlling another person's vocabulary, what do you think that that is, right? What do you literally think that that is? So if you had children, right, physically had kids, I don't, but if you had children and they were at school and they were being bullied, right, would you tell them to tell you and the teacher? Or would you say, don't tell the teacher, do not tell me, just suffer in silence with what goes on in your life, right? And do not tell what goes on here, right? Do not say. You have to look at it as a, you know, an esoteric way of looking at it. But would you tell a child not to vocabulary say what's kind of going on with them, right? So these can be people that make people feel uncomfortable doing their job and around where they're working not being able to freely speak about what goes on in their life that would inverse be a tarot reader which means i've gone through this myself and the way that i've got out of this is this way try it that way okay or i'm not as good as what all of you think and that i'd struggle myself in the same things as you do right so you can get into these binds of kind of like well i know this person's watching and i know that if i put something out they're gonna have a negative effects against it because i know my ex is watching me for instance right you've got an ex and your ex watches what you do and they persecute you making you feel like you can't speak that you can't talk you can't give over messages to people because if you do and you happen to talk about something that relates to yourself and that person's watching, what do they get? This. Okay. Because it's kind of like, no, I need to manipulate you in silence. I don't want people to know about me manipulating you and playing mind games and the fact that we're arguing. I don't want people to know that. I need you to be quiet and not talk about it. And we can get over this ourselves. But it's in a tarot reading. That's why you're watching it. So if you don't like it, why are you watching it? Is that logic or am I just fucking stupid here? <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't get people. So I'm going to make that t-shirt for everybody. People, bruv. People. Pfft. What about them? What about them? <laughs> right? Is there anybody out there that's fucking half got a ticket? Let's see. Page of Pentacles. New person, maybe, for a lot of you, but you've still got another five. Now, you've got one that's causing an argument, right? Let's go down. <laughs> Let's go down on me. Don't let the sun go down on me. I won't let the sun go down. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've got here because we are at a bit of a different angle because I realised you guys were looking at my deviated septum and it really fucking annoys me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let's see here. Um, so what you've got is a relationship, right? But you've got fives here. You've got a very childish circumstance that's happening at the moment. A lot of you, this is alimony, divorce, separation from ex, children, single mother, single father, or you're worried about being a single mother or a single parent, and you're staying in a very abusive, narcissistic, possible relationship where you just don't know a way out because you're going to have to support your child on your own, and you don't know if you will get alimony by the husband or not, so you're just staying put and not being able to do anything about it when you need a plan of action to be able to move to make your life better once you've done it. If you keep fearing leaving and not leaving, you just fear the reaper of the ending. 
So your life starts to go. Your life force goes, you drain your energy. The time goes on and on and on and on. When you're thinking, fuck, if I'd have just done this five years ago, I would have been in a different place now, five years later. But until you make that plan and action, nothing's going to happen until you do it. You've got to do it to find out what it is first. Tarot reading can't tell you that until you take action. It'll just keep telling you the same story that you're doing. So you'll keep looking for answers, but it's because you're not taking any action to leave. That's when your readings will change. Okay, so at the moment, if you are in a relationship, it's gone childish. It's gone back to how it was before. There's no communication. You're more than likely in a relationship, but not talking. Okay, uh, I'm annoyed. If the person doesn't tell you that they're annoyed, they're lying because they've watched it and heard it already. So they're now going back to not saying anything and then worrying the fact that they've heard it, but they don't want you to know that you know, but you probably know, you know? <laughs> Do you know what I mean, Scorpio? So what's the uh, Nine of Swords? Yeah, blocks, no communication, um, blaming, sick to death of being blamed, sick to death of a childish person. The communication is absolutely whack trying to protect my assets and my money of being used. The Four of Pentacles to me is a person that concentrates on their money and they may have quite a lot of it and be able to bank it away or they could actually be a banker or a wanker. Um, but if they're not, the Four of Pentacles is a person that can't stand being blamed. Scorpio. Scorpio Aries. I've got it three times and three Aries in my chart. So I know what fours feel like, <laughs> right? When you are sick to death of being pressured and blamed and childish communication, and then I'm being blocked, and then I'm being made to feel like I'm a bad boy, okay, being put in time out, and then you're just kind of like sick death of it here. Death, Steph and Jeff. <laughs> right, right, um, Elizabeth. <laughs> she likes it when I say that bit, right? Don't you, Elizabeth? Death, Steph and Jeff. <laughs> Thank you so much, Elizabeth, for the £50 donation for my birthday. Really appreciate it. Um, let's see. So what's the three of um, three of cups? There's been a couple of people. Someone else done me something very nice for my birthday as well. Um, but I don't really want to say because I don't know if you want me. But someone did me a reading. <laughs> uh, and it was spot on for me. Uh, let's see. Um, three, of, uh, three of cups. I didn't ask for the reading, by the way. But uh, anyway, <laughs> shh, don't say it. Fuck it, I just realised. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh, okay. Uh, anyway, let's move on. Um, I think that some of you have got a lot of new energy because whichever way around you, if it's at the moment, y'all guys are not speaking. <laughs> You're really not. These are all the childish energies, the not talking ones. I can find this very difficult to know whether they are or not. Because if your phone's going off, like ding, 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 they can mean messages, right? But this is definitely, for me, where I'm not even speaking to the person. Like, they ain't got the legs to go anywhere, right, here. But there could be a united energy with maybe someone new. Three of Cups here is a new person, okay? But there might be distance, okay, distance. This is not a long-distance marathon runner, okay? So there might be distance. But I feel you are definitely distancing yourself from someone here, okay? Because it's just not going anywhere. It's it's monotonously boring. Okay. You've you've ruined the trust. You've you've broken each other's vows or the trust that you've had for person. You've kind of you've kind of sabotaged it. Okay. Five's a sabotaged energy. What's the high priestess? King of Pentacles, you see here. Very stable individual, very loving and very caring, very charismatic, okay, very stable guy, okay. But someone thinks that this person's a prick. <laughs> Sorry, King, but you're a prick for being stable. Well, that obviously means what? I'm not stable for you. But I'm stable for someone. But who wants a stable person? Not someone that eats dinner off a three-legged chair, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, what's the king of pentacles for the next 48 for Scorpio? See, a new person. For a lot of you, there's a very stable new person here. But if there is, it won't be told to this person here. Which means that it's not publicly known that these two people could be talking. 
because of this energy here that they may be considering getting out of. And this is more like a someone that comes along as if to say, y'all don't need to be going through all of this shit here in your life. Because this, like, some of you could contact me, say, for, as a reading, right? And these are clients, right? And I'd be saying to you, you know, you need to leave this person here, you know, because you're not getting on and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, you can form a bond and it can be anything here. It can be James Bond. But, like, it could be a 007. It could be a life path seven or two sevens or the other person has cancerian or a seven in their chart. Okay. But, like, um, yeah, I think a lot of you here are kind of, like, maybe talking to a new person. Because that's the only... <laughs> that's a not talking to here. Because these are more than likely not talking, right? That's a not talking, okay? This is a king of cups, a uh, king of pentacles, that has very good co communication skills, that is talking to someone, okay? <laughs> so, you know, y'all make your mind up because shit is hit the fan here with these fives, man, right here. So it's not good. But there's a person watching to see if you're talking to someone or they are, okay? Like I said, it could be watching tarot readings and getting frustrated that someone else may be talking to another person or not knowing that they are and not divulging and thinking right I've heard all of this and I heard what you've said and I'm not going to say the fact that I've heard that I'm just going to think that without communicating with you I'm just going to think it <laughs> right <laughs> so confused.com Scorpio so there you go guys so if you want to help me out financially a little bit your reading is over on Patreon. So your weekly readings always come out the day before anything comes out on here normally. Okay, so your weekly reading is over on Patreon. Um, or will be, I'm sure I did Scorpio. Yeah, because I got loads done. So your Scorpio reading is over on um, Patreon. Um, anything else? Uh, so you'll need the silver or gold tier. Okay, because your monthlies, weeklies and everything are all over there. Um, that's a full table spread, all clarified, and God knows what else. Money, love, arguments, new people, old people. Uh, and if you don't want to and you can't and you really want to join the join button and join the joyride of Steve's crew, okay, you look really important when you come up in the chat because it gives you a luminous green glowing name. It gives you loads of different gl glittery fucking icons and God knows what else as well. Uh, stickers. Uh, and then also you get one free question per month. So each month you say, Steve, look, you know, my name is <laughs> Eminem, right? Like I've been doing. Well, music also, don't forget about that one if you want me to write a rap about you. Um, but the join button, you just basically leave your name when I create a post and say, okay, everybody, this is the date. Make sure you leave your name, your person's name, what you're interested in, what's your, well, you know, what you're really needing to know. Um, and then you get one of those a month. And then you also get um, random readings that get thrown over there now and again one per month and then you also get a secret video that comes over once a month that is teaching wise something like that maybe okay but you have to join in order to find out what they are you can find uh, all about that below thanks very much scorpio see you soon